In cities across the Middle East, there is now a tense calm that has taken over here in Cairo. Hundreds, if not thousands, of riot police ready on standby in case violence breaks out once again. For four days, it was a pitched fight between protesters on the street throwing Molotov cocktails and hurling rocks, and then p police firing back with rubber bullets and tear gas. The protesters carrying posters of Osama bin Laden and chanting, Obama, Obama, we are all Osama. Osama. In Tunis, Tunisia, U.S. citizens have been advised to evacuate the country and or not travel to Tunisia after violence swept there that killed four people when protesters stormed the U.S. embassy. The government of Sudan, we're hearing, has now denied entry to a Marine special operations team that was being sent to secure the U.S. embassy after a local sheikh called for mass protests in that country, which resulted in thousands of people storming the embassy and security forces opening fire to try and push back the protesters. Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula has issued a communique urging more attacks. And here in Cairo, local media reports there was a credible threat against the U.S. embassy here. Security is at an unprecedented level with 15-foot-tall concrete barriers erected on every one of the entranceways down to the U.S. Embassy compound. We took a walk around earlier, and outside those barricades, the protesters made their message very clear, spray-painted in English, USA, go to hell. Chris, back to you.